Club is full of ballers and they pop the school gone. And now you fellas leave your girl with her friends. Cause it's 1130 and the club is jumping. Jump is late night. Well, we haven't stopped since I took over the tomb in June. I said to them, I said, listen, I said, I believe in you guys. I believe that we can be state champs, but it's not going to be easy and we're going to have to work really, really hard. And since June, I have not once worried about where's so-and-so, where's so-and-so, because they all want to be there. And they're such a close, um, tight-knit group. And I'm just super fortunate that I get to work with them. Um, I call them my dream team because they literally are my absolute dream team. Four and five, six. Seven, eight, one, eight. I think that being on this team for so long, it's become so much more than just a high school sport, especially because it's year round. It's not just like in the spring or in the summer. It's really just become like a family to me, and it is honestly my life. I put it's my passion. I put everything I have into this team, and I just I really don't know where I'd be without it. I think people don't realize how adaptable we have to be as this team, whether it's from practicing outside or in the commons. Um, we work with very limited resources, so the fact that we've made it this far in the season already is pretty amazing with what we have to work with. One thing I'd like to share to everybody outside of the dance team is I don't think they realize how much time and dedication we're putting into the team. We practice at least 12 hours every single week, and there's been times where we've practiced 20 hours on the weekends. Seeing them come together as a team uh, was just the most special thing I've ever been a part of and to see their hard work come to fruition now. Um, and I think a lot of it comes down to, you know, we put a lot of focus not just on dancing but also our mental health as well as our physical health, making sure that um, we're lifting each other up. Both of our routines are actually for, um, you know, my big thing is women empowerment. It, it was hard being the youngest on the team. I was like, ah, oh, none of the girls are going to like me. They're seniors, you know, you get scared. It's like a senior and a freshman. And that was just not the case at all, even at Nationals, just the bond at Nationals. Like, I, I cried more than I wanted to. <laughs> and I was just very deep in my feelings when I was at Nationals. And then, like, on that dance floor, they all, like, held my hand. And they're like, you got this. We love you, because I've never performed in my life. So being on a national stage was just crazy <laughs> and they were like we love you and it was the most genuine like we love you ever and we all hugged and we held hands and we prayed and I've really honestly never felt such a bond with like people and especially like older people I've just never felt a bond like this and it's super strong and it makes me feel like the best person in the world <laughs> I think it's better than winning any trophy it is the bond I have with these girls Okay, so up next for the Gig Harbor High School dance team is districts. We have our WIAA districts competition. It is Saturday, March 12th. Um, and so we are looking to become district champs in hip hop and dance and take that to state and hopefully be first time state dance and hip hop champions. This team has been around for around 18 years and they have never been state champions before. Um, so we're hoping to be state champs for the first time ever this year. So that's the big goal. <laughs>